Intervocalic voicing is a process whereby a voiceless segment, such as pötöke, is realized as partially or totally voiced pötöke when occurring between two vowels. Phonetically, it is described as an articulatory undershoot, resulting in the partial or total maintenance of the vibration of the vocal folds, articulatory reduction and reduced duration. It has been shown to operate in connected speech in numerous languages, both within words, as in Spanish, me digo, physician, and across word boundaries, as in Spanish, lo que digo, what I am saying. Phonologically, intervocalic voicing is also one of the most consensual and well-attested types of diachronic nanition, a process whereby a segment is weakened, namely undergoes a series of transformations ultimately resulting in its deletion, as in the transition from Latin vita into Spanish vida or French vie, life. However, lenition as a historical process is also defined as a strictly positional phenomenon. From the observation of the evolution from Latin to Western Romance languages, for instance, it can be concluded that consonants in syllable final position, aka codas, and word internal intervocalic position are in weak positions and thus prone to weakening, while syllable initial consonants, aka onsets, are in strong position and thus prone to strengthening or at the very least to resistance to weakening. A paradox emerges from this double definition. Intervocalic voicing supposedly happens across the board in connected speech, where phonetics is blind to morphological boundaries, for example word edges, but these same variational phenomena are the breeding ground for diachronic phonological changes, where only some contexts actually phonologize. In Romance languages, for instance, word internal intervocalic stops have undergone lenition, for example Latin ripa, French rive, shore, while word initial consonants preceded by a vowel have resisted lenition, as in Latin il la porta, French la porte, the door. Hualde proposes that uh, sound changes start as across the board processes but are later phonologized only within the word domain. We build on this proposal to suggest that when a phonetic variational pattern behaves differently at morpheme boundaries, in our case word edges, and morpheme or word internally, it means that the change may be on the way to phonologization. In the present study, we aim to contribute to the current state of knowledge on intervocalic voicing in Romance languages. We investigate approximately 3 million intervocalic stops in three Western Romance languages, Portuguese, Spanish and French, and two Eastern Romance languages, Italian and Romanian, to establish 1. if Pötöke exhibit intervocalic voicing and Bödöge resist the voicing, and 2. if so, if the observed trends are different at word edges and internally. The outline of the presentation is as follows. First, we present our data and methodology, then we present the results regarding the voicing patterns of voiceless stops, the devoicing of voiced stops, and the comparison of the two before sharing preliminary results on the effect of gender of the speaker. Finally, we conclude and discuss the results. In the present study, then, we analyze five Romance languages to establish whether one, voiceless stops pötöke are realized as voiced bödöge, and two, voiced bödöge are still realized as voiced bödöge in intervocalic position, word internally, vcv, Word initially, VCV, word finally, VCV, and in isolation, namely one consonant words labeled as monophones below, VCV. Investigating such a subtle ongoing phenomenon requires analyzing massive data to make sure to spot the alternations when they happen and draw a reliable picture. Such research is made possible today thanks to large corpora and automatic processing methods. We investigate more than 1,000 hours of speech in Portuguese, Spanish, French, Italian and Romanian. Our corpora are representative of journalistic speech from TV and radio shows. They were acquired from the Linguistic Data Consortium or the European Language Resources Association or developed in the framework of international research projects. Associated manual reference transcriptions are provided for almost all of the audio data. An exception is Romanian, for which we have only seven hours manually transcribed, and the remainder automatically transcribed with a Romanian speech-to-text transcription system. 
Language-specific baseline pronunciation dictionaries are also incorporated in the respective speech recognizers used for the alignment. This study adopts the method proposed by Ada Decker and Ali to study voicing alternations of the stops by introducing specific variants in the pronunciation dictionaries. The augmented lexicons contains both each word's so-called canonical pronunciation and potentially altered non-canonical variants. A language-specific speech recognition system is then used to carry out a forced alignment of the speech with the reference transcription using the original dictionary with only canonical pronunciations or the augmented pronunciation dictionary with both canonical pronunciation and variants, allowing the system to select the best matching pronunciation during the process. All five speech recognition systems, one for each language, all comparable in terms of architecture, were previously trained on similar data to that used in this study. Voicing or devoicing is decided based on whether the best matching phone model corresponds to the original voiceness or voiced canonical phone or to the voiced or devoiced variant, much like an automated ABX judgment task. The system compares the acoustic realizations of each consonant with the corresponding voiceness or voiced phone models and selects the best one. Thus, for any occurrence of a voiceness stop pataka, the system can align either the canonical pataka transcription or its voiced counterpart badaga. And conversely, for any occurrence of a voiced stop badaga, it can select either the canonical badaga transcription or its voiceless counterpart pataka. For instance, the French word tout, cough, could be transcribed as tout or dou, but the French word dou, sweet, could also be transcribed either as dou or tout. This allows us to uh, investigate not only voicing, tout pronounced as dou, but also resistance to devoicing, dou not pronounced as tout. In total, the corpora and methodology allow us to investigate the realization of almost 3 million intervocalic stops, 60% of which are voiceless per tuk. All languages polled, we investigate 1.6 million voiceless stops per tuk, 8.35% of which are realized non canonically, namely as voiced per tuk. As can be seen in figure 1, all languages pulled, rates of intervocalic voicing are similar in all positions. However, since all languages do not share the same phonotactic profile, it is doubtful that they all behave the same. Let's now investigate the stops behavior in each language. In table 4, we can see that Portuguese displays a fair amount of intervocalic voicing when the consonant is word internal or word final, but less when it is word initial. Spanish consonants voice a lot a word finally, but this ratio actually stems from the observation of six tokens only. In word initial and word medial position, however, the rates of voicing are similar. French has, in general, similar rates of devoicing across all positions, although monophones, and to a lesser extent word final consonants, voice more than the mean, and the word internal context is the one voicing the least, which is surprising. Italian is the language displaying the most intervocalic voicing, with a mean rate of 12.36%. Monophones are the most prone to voicing, but then again, with only 8 tokens, the results are not robust. Finally, Romanian is the language displaying the least intervocalic voicing, with a mean of 5.69%. Like French and Italian, it voices one consonant words the most, 11% above the mean, this is probably due to the fact that one consonant words are often frequent function words that therefore tend to be reduced. Word medial is nonetheless the second context most favoring voicing, which is consistent with our expectations. To compare similar data sets in terms of quantity, word initial consonants, historically supposed to favor fortition, in our case resistance to voicing, and word medial consonants, historically supposed to favor lenition, in our case voicing, differ only in Portuguese, uh, but are similar in Spanish, French, Italian and Romanian, thus advocating against phonologizing intervocalic lenition in these four languages. However, before drawing any conclusion, 
we should compare the rates of Pottaker voicing to the rates of Bodeger resistance to devoicing. We focus now on the 1.1 million voiced stops detailed in Table 5. Among them, only 5.90% are realized as non-canonically devoiced Pottaker. This rate is low, as expected from the intervocalic context, but not null and deserves more attention. In Table 6, we can see that Portuguese is by far the language that displays the most devoicing, despite the intervocalic context, even in word medial position, historically supposed to favor lenition, namely voicing. Spanish, on the other hand, is the language where it stops devoice the least, with a mean devoicing rate of only 3.43%. The rate of final devoicing may seem impressive, but again stems from the observation of a reduced number of tokens. In French, Italian and Romanian, rates of devoicing are relatively similar, with the notable exceptions of word final devoicing in French and Romanian. What these results show is that even in intervocalic, typically liniting contexts, Bodeger is sometimes devoiced. This is surprising and can be due to a number of reasons. When the rates are low, it is possible that there is an inevitable error rate from the ASR system due to erroneous transcriptions or background noise on the audio file, discrepancies from the speakers, etc. To compensate this error rate, we provide the differential between voicing rates that are expected and devoicing rates that are unexpected in each position in the word in each language in Table 7. When the rates are adjusted, we have a global picture of voicing alternations in intervocalic context. Almost all values are positive, meaning that the intervocalic context indeed massively favors voicing. The context disfavoring voicing the most is the word final position, with Portuguese, Romanian, and to a lesser extent French, even displaying final devoicing despite the intervocalic context, which advocates for the presence of phonologizing word final devoicing in these languages. Portuguese has a peculiar behavior, being the only language displaying overall 3.3% more devoicing than voicing, which is in line uh, nonetheless with previous studies. To compare similar data sets, uh, uh, word initial stops, historically supposed to favor devoicing, and word medial stops, historically supposed to favor voicing, differ in Portuguese and, to a much lesser extent, in Spanish, but are similar in French, Italian, and Romanian. In this last part, we provide some preliminary results on the effect of gender on voicing alternations in Portuguese, Spanish, and Italian. Gender labels were not available for most of the French and Romanian data. Table 8 displays the rates of non-canonical realizations of Pottaker on the left and Bodeger on the right with regard to gender of the speaker. Male speakers voice Pottaker more than female speakers, especially in Spanish and Italian. Regarding the devoicing of Bodeger, the results differ in each language. In Portuguese, male speakers devoice Bodeger less than female speakers, and the difference is larger than that between female and male voicing rates. In Spanish, male and female speakers devoice Bodeger at the same rate, suggesting that voicing of Bodeger may have a different sociolinguistic effect. In Italian, male speakers devoice Bodeger more than female speakers, suggesting that in this language both alternations in the realization of the laryngeal feature pattern differ similarly from a sociolinguistic point of view. In this paper, we analyze more than 1,000 hours of speech in five Romance languages to investigate the realization of the laryngeal feature in almost 3 million stops in intervocalic feed position. This context was chosen because it allows to establish whether the voicing of voiceless stop is a phonetic phenomenon resulting from undershoot or already a phonological phenomenon that takes morphological boundaries into account. Our results show that there is intervocalic voicing in all positions in the word in all languages and male speakers voice more than female speakers. It is, however, counterbalanced by some instances of devoicing that bring us to conclude that intervocalic voicing is stronger in word internal position in Portuguese only, a language where consonants at word edges tend to devoice. 
In Spanish, French, Italian, and Romanian, word initial and word medial rates are similar, suggesting that voicing in these languages remains mere phonetic undershoot and cannot yet be considered lenition. Future research should help us establish whether the behavior of word initial onsets and word final codas is similar to the one of their word internal counterparts. These are our references, and thank you very much for your attention.